Hello, good afternoon. I'm Chef Norman Musa and greetings from London, uh, from sunny London. Surprisingly, it's a, it's a good weather this week, <laughs> so it's nice. Uh, yeah, so welcome to Norman and Friends. Every Thursday, I'm cooking with my friends from all over Europe. And this week, I'm having my good friend from Arnhem, the Netherlands. Okay, so welcome, Nora, to the um, Norman Musa cooking show. Hello, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to see you again. Yes, um, and this time I'm in London, so we yes. don't have to London anymore. <laughs> well, so how man, you wonderful. You managed to get out of the country. <laughs> yeah, so I managed to, uh, I won't say elope, but it's kind of like quietly, discreetly, like uh, flew back to, to, to London. And because, of, well, one is for my uh, cooking workshops, actually. I'm having one in June, and also mm -hmm. like, a few meetings, actually, I'm, um, yeah, I'm having. So, yeah, so um, welcome to the show. And then, uh, okay, so a quick reminder to all the uh, viewers, okay, so do tell us where you're watching from. And if you're watching uh, from Facebook, okay, so you can share this on your Facebook. So, you know, spread the word about this cooking show because Nora's going to be uh, sharing with us some fantastic uh, dish, healthy as well. So I'm going to do the same. So Nora's going to start first after this. And then, of course, uh, she has the recipe that she can, uh, well, mm. she will share with you okay so she will tell you like uh, where she's uh, uploaded the, the recipe for you to download okay so um nora so perhaps you want to tell a bit about yourself to all yes. the viewers and watching yes um yes norman as you know i might have to stop keep pressing the insta just to keep it going <laughs> okay. um well I, i'm hugely into healthy cooking i love um simple cooking fast cooking that's why i wrote a whole book about i heat myself double but um I think that's gone now. Um, my first cookbook is called Healthy Fast Food, Gezond Fast Food in Dutch. And today I'm going to cook a recipe. Look how, how yummy that looks. Looks like spaghetti, but it's not really spaghetti. It's cogetti with pesto rosso. And it's a very, very simple dish. Doesn't take long to make. And that's why I always I like to show uh, how, how fun and simple and easy healthy cooking is. So that's what, one of my main goals, just to get people cooking more because what we eat determines how well we are and how uh, how good we feel. Yeah. Um, and that's why it's really important to eat healthy as much as you can, not always, and I don't do that either. And that's my doorbell. <laughs> so you know, it's too early to eat your food. So yeah, yeah. come back in. <laughs> guests, they come in, my imaginary guests. Yeah. No, it's not allowed yet, so of course. Um, but so yeah, I'll, I'll start with the pesto rosso. Mm. Uh, and I love pesto because it's a very beautiful addition to many dishes, not yeah. only to the cuisine that I'm cooking today, but you yeah. can eat it on, on, on bread, uh, on a... Um, on a cracker, you can add it to vegetables. Um, so it's just a very beautiful, flavorful um, uh, staple to have in your fridge. So it's one of the things I also have uh, standard uh, in the fridge is, is a good pesto. Um, and you don't need many ingredients. Yeah. But I start off with uh, sun dried tomatoes. Yeah. So really sweet and festival. tasty. We're gonna say hello to uh to City. I believe City's uh watch yeah, City's City. I know I met her actually. Uh so uh City's uh, watching from Singapore. Okay? Nice, hello. So uh, I'm waiting for Elaine now. I mean Elaine's normally like never miss this uh, cooking show, oh. so hopefully <laughs> Elaine's gonna join us. And unfortunately someone that watching from Netherlands but couldn't pick up the name. So uh if you so you okay. can always just tell us your name and then yeah, where you're watching from. Yeah, so go yeah. on, sorry. And I try to see and multitask as well, but that might always be possible. <laughs> and what I'm using is uh, what I used to make the pesto is a I uh, just show for Instagram is uh, um, this kitchen machine, very simple kitchen machine. But it's one of the things that I actually use most next to my blender. You could also make it in a blender, yeah. Um, or you could use a uh, um, how do you call that? Uh, and staff mixer and handheld blender, a handheld okay. blender, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is all you know, which we probably everyone or more people have than, than a kitchen machine. Mm. Um, but uh, and I use the small cup of the kitchen machine, yeah, you know, because you also have a big cup, but then you don't, you know, that you need a lot of content for that. And so this keeps it a bit more compact. 
So what I do is I uh, put it here. I'll add the sun dried tomatoes, and this time these are based uh, in olive oil. So um, the recipe also contains olive oil. Olive oil is a superfood. It's really really healthy. Um, uh, something that I actually try to eat every day and include with most. Um, uh, meals, surely yeah. the lunch and evening meal, yeah. just a little bit of olive oil um, for an extra health boost. Yeah. So I will just put the whole thing, because it's roughly 200 uh, grams, including the oil, in mm here. -hmm. And, yeah. and I don't dispose of it. And uh, I'm also not afraid of fat, you know, it's good fat, because yeah. we, every cell in our body needs fat. And you know, in the 90s, uh, um, we all got scared. Oh, you know, the 90s just shows my age. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was a teenager in the 90s. Um, uh, <laughs> it was a good you're time. younger than me. So you're younger. You still look pretty. I don't, well. Oh, I'm not, I'm not younger than you, am I? You are younger than me. What, what year was year you? Are, you? Are, you, are you willing to share your age? Yeah, of course I am. I'm 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 77. The okay. years of yeah, you're younger than me. I'm 74. Oh, well, oh, oh, Norman. Well, you look very young. 77 on my compliment show. <laughs> 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 well done. See, cooking keeps you in good Lots shape. Lots of uh, exercise and healthy eating as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and enjoy enjoying food. Uh, is even better. see that's someone's oh. calling. So yeah, plus. Turn that away. Um, so we've got the. Okay, here you go. Yeah. No, it's okay now. It's okay. Now. Yeah, yeah, okay now. Yeah. Okay. So we've got uh, we've got the sun-dried tomatoes with the oil with uh, because it's um, olive oil. I'm not such a big fan of sunflower oil because it has too much omega sixes. But that's the whole different story. And um, to keep it simple, I use as much olive oil as I can. Um, I, I will then add. See, I, I need to look at my ingredient list. That's that's a good thing if you if you have cookbooks. If you write cookbooks, you can always use your own cookbook. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I don't remember all these things, you know. No, yeah, I just uh, keep it, um, yeah. keep it uh, simple again. So I'll just add uh, about a hundred, um, no, uh, one little pot of uh, tomato puree. Mm -hmm. I really like tomato puree because it uh, makes just things taste richer, fuller. You know, I'm sure you use it in curries as well. Yeah, oh, yeah, we do actually in, in Malaysian cooking, we do that as well. Actually, tomato puree, yeah, yeah, we do. and it's very healthy. Um, tomatoes, yeah, yeah. yeah, they have something like like it's called a, a, a super uh, little um ingredient that's called like like a pain, yeah, and you can always never pronounce it. And that is also very, very good for you. Um, and especially cooked tomatoes are yeah. healthier than fresh tomatoes. So, um, because the cooking process condenses uh, um, them and uh, uh, just make the, this ingredient become there. Sorry, my language, I think in too many languages, <laughs> sometimes I get a bit twisted. But cooked tomatoes are very good for you. In what form ever, it doesn't matter. Then uh, we've got um, 50 grams of roasted pine nuts. Mm -hmm. I roasted them beforehand. So you see there, they're slightly, a little bit golden brown. Yeah. I love pine nuts, they just taste great. You could also use, um, because they're quite expensive, you could use cashews. Okay. Cashews are a good alternative for pine nuts and they work really well in pestles. Okay. So okay. Add my pine nuts. I have, a, I have a question from Lydia, uh, just quickly. Uh, she said that, uh, just read about the MC Dougal uh, diet, uh, which claims oils and fats are bad and we need to eat a starch based, yeah. no meat. Yeah. What are your thoughts about that? Well, um, you know, there are many, many uh, philosophies about food, and I just try to keep it simple. I just think yeah. eating real food, cook as much as you can yourself, yeah. um, that is the healthiest you can do. Avoid processed food. That's true, yeah. You now, anything with more than five ingredients on the list, just don't eat it. Wouldn't bother. You know, I. It's, um, I, I do think healthy fats are really important, so I do um, include, and my favorite fats are olive oil and butter. Mm -hmm. And I use coconut oil. Yeah, um, that's, that's good. That's, that's it. Good. And I do yeah. eat animal fat as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's what it. Everyone is different, and what works for me doesn't necessarily work for other people. So just, you have yeah. to find um, how your body reacts. 
people have food intolerances That's you know true, yeah yeah um, exactly. i know many people they don't they can't do any milk products i so, i'm really okay with milk products i don't yeah. have any problems so you know it depends but i generally i just um believe in try to cut on processed food eat as much real food as possible yeah and as little sugar as possible that's well, true, sugar yeah. as we know isn't good yeah, uh, yeah that's very really true and uh, I get my sugar from fruit, and I, I also like uh, fried fruit, like dates, raisins. Um, but you know, I don't, I don't overdo it. I just, um, you know, try to keep a healthy balance. That's good. Yeah, that's good advice. So hopefully, Dave, you're happy with that answer. Yeah. So always have to try. <laughs> but you see, I could go on and on. And on. <laughs> so if she has any more questions, one chat with uh, Nora, to, please. <laughs> <laughs> to leave a comment or, or send me an email, yeah. and I will definitely react to that. Great. Um, okie dokie, let's see. So we got the pine nuts in our mix. Um, I checked my list. Then we've got um, brass, uh, grated um, parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. I grated it beforehand because it takes some time. Um, and that's about uh, 50 grams. So I add that. And uh, then one of my favorite ingredients ever is garlic. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you like garlic too. Yeah, yeah. So um, I will take my garlic press. Ooh, this is too large for being pressed. I have to cut it. And I usually add, yeah. See, for me, is the more garlic, the better. Um, hang on. Okay, just got, okay. Yeah, okay. that's Ooh, okay. I'm back. The more, yeah. the more garlic, the better. Mm -hmm. Um, so for me, it can never be well. There is a limit to it, but I like to use a lot of garlic. Um, and it helps if the people around you also like garlic. <laughs> then, you know, otherwise, but garlic is super healthy. Um, it is indeed, yeah. It's so healthy. And I just have a little, you know, I just feel a little, have a little cold um, for the first time in a long, long time now. And I make sure I just take, eat some extra garlic because it also works like a natural antibiotic and has lots of. Uh, 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 things in it that help your body fighting infections. Um, let's see, there's a lot of garlic coming out of here. And it's always good when you use garlic, I don't know if I mentioned before, um, to press it and didn't, didn't actually leave it rest uh, for a little bit because um, then these active compounds in it um, start working and it becomes even more healthy. But if you use, if you do a, uh, and that is if you do cooked food, if you do a, I will not cook this, I'll just blend it, it will not make a difference. So um, whether you leave it a little bit or not. Um, and then I've got some fresh lemon juice, and I think that we're nearly done. We also will add some balsamico, no, not balsamico, some, what are they called? Basilico. Basilico. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like balsamico, but I mean balsamico. <laughs> <laughs> All too close to it. Okay, some fresh lemon juice, you know. Yeah. Always uh, lemon goes well in just a little bit of acidity. Um, and two hands full fresh basilico. I think the, uh, the viewers on the Instagram, I think you need to lower your camera a bit so they can see. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. that's I true. I, really oh, want, I, 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 I lift up my. See, okay. oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's beautiful. Exactly. Thank you, Norman. Okay. So I just had. Okay. Okay. Super. Um. So we have the silicone. Two hands. Oh, that smells amazingly. I love the silicon. I just, I just love using fresh herbs and stuff. Do you really grow your in your beautiful garden? Oh, and look, look, that looks like the Italian flag. Oh no, is that no? It's not no, the Italian not flag. Just, it's very colorful. Are you back? <laughs> <laughs> so just no, it's not. Uh, wait, I'm off. No. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I'm not sure whether it's my. I'm just uh, trying to look back in Norman, in case you're wondering what I'm uh, doing. Yeah, no. Okay, you're back. Yeah. Yeah, so now it's me. Hang on. Okay. Hang on. I'm, I'm back here. Okay. Hang on. Yeah. Can yeah. you see me? No, yeah. I can't see me here. 
Okay. But can you see me on Instagram? Uh, no. Yeah, I can see you now. Yeah, on Instagram. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can't see myself, but that doesn't matter. Uh, okay. So we can see the <laughs> Yeah. So what I do is uh, I'll now put the oops the thing back in the kitchen machine. Hang on. So, and I might make some noise now. I hope it's not too noisy. Okay. But I'm just warning you, it doesn't take long. I'm making a rough test. That's okay, yeah? The color oh, is good already. Is that noisy? No, no, it's not. Go ahead. We're in the kitchen. They're allowed to, <laughs> they're allowed to make any noise. So, and just to show you, um, you can go on and make it, um, hang on, oh, that's, that's really good. and you can continue and make it really fine, or you can leave it a bit rough. Um, I just like it when you have still have a bite, mm -hmm. and it's not completely mushed up. Um, but that's up to your personal preference, you know. So, um, I will now set this aside and then use it uh, in a minute when we prepare the courgette. Mm -hmm. So, and now we're making spaghetti. Great. So <laughs> this is what I want to see because you're using your special gadget. Yes. Yeah. This uh, like my big pencil sharpener and it's super simple. So all you do, you just cut off the top of the courgette. Hang on. Someone just someone just commented say Irish flag. The Irish flag, you know, I showed the um, no, it's not the, you. Now when I showed the pesto, I said something about Italian flag, but I was okay. not. Uh, <laughs> oh, someone said Irish flag. Sorry. <laughs> but isn't there some green? Of course, there's green and um, yeah. Irish flag. Okay. Um. So see, now I make spaghetti. Wow. How easy is that? And you just keep turning it. And from time to time, you you can lift it up a bit, take it out a little bit. Yeah. And there we go again. So what I do, I like to eat them raw. Um, but if you uh, um, want to have them a bit warm, you can just fry them in a pan with a little bit of butter and salt. Yeah. Um, um, I wouldn't recommend cooking them because yeah. they just turn very soggy. And it's, uh, yeah. it's like a, you know, it's like a cucumber as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It actually is part. It belongs to the cucumber family, pumpkin and cucumber family. Yeah, yeah. Actually, that, uh, anyone watching from outside Europe, okay, courgette is actually zucchini. You call zucchini. it zucchini. <laughs> I think we, we also in German we say zucchini. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And in the, in the Netherlands, we also say courgette, like the English courgette, way. Yeah, yeah. Funny, yeah. Eh? Zucchini is that Italian? It sounds Italian. Does anyone know? I don't, but uh, okay. So, look here, so we end up. Oh, nice. lovely spaghetti, crudetti. And the good thing is, even if you don't um, like uh, raw vegetables that much, mm -hmm. by adding the pesto on it, and you can add a little bit of more pesto, yeah. you actually think you're eating pasta. It's, you know, it's. Yeah, it's just like a texture. Like, uh, yeah. But. Um, it's a it's a superb. It has uh, courgette also has a lot of potassium, which is great for you. Um, and never never peel a courgette because again, as with most um, vegetables, good good stuff sits in the skin. Yeah. Just under the skin. So okay, uh, I'll just quickly do another one. And on on this uh, sharpener, you have two sides. One that is a little. I will use the other side now. Um, which makes uh, the spaghetti a little bit bigger. So okay, you can okay. even choose your size, you know? And yeah. this is great if you make some salads in the summer. Um, you could use you could use it as, really as a salad base, a courgette, and you can also um, use carrots in this one. Um, I think with the, the machine you have, you can also use uh, other vegetables that are you can cut them in a different way. This is a bit just, you know, you just like a, the peeler. This, this it's one. a peeler, yeah. So you can also use like uh, probably uh, from beetroot. But one thing, one one thing I noticed about this one is like uh, it kind of wastes the core, the the, the middle bit, like yours. Yeah. It's like uh, it took everything, which is good actually. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, the cord, the cord, the cord does stay. You see, it comes out from time to time. Yeah. So I have to just uh, keep looking at. But there we go. So I will just stop here because. Um, but look, this is what we got from two courgettes. Nice. Got this beautiful big amount of, uh, of spaghetti, courgette. And now um, we take a big scoop of uh, pesto. Mm -hmm. Or two, or three. Oh, the more the better. Yeah, like to add the flavor. Yeah. And pass it up with two forks, or a fork and a spoon. And I recommend, I recommend doing that in a in a in a bowl, in a separate bowl. Don't do that on your on your plate, because otherwise it will get a little bit messy, which is fine. But it looks prettier if you. Um, if you then dish it up after you fuzzled it. So in case anyone who wondering, that's Marin Kay. Uh, they can see it oh, on the YouTube story. Facebook. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> She's helping me. <laughs> so I do forget a lot of things. And then she has a, she has a kitchen a angel. <laughs> Nora has yeah. a kitchen angel. So uh, there you go. Marin yeah. a kitchen angel. <laughs> My kitchen angel. Yeah. Um, so we have some little art. And now we can dish it up. Look at all the beautiful new plates. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I was a bit bored of white, you know? So I just got myself some um, some new plates. But I also saw you have some great dishes. So I, I got actually inspired by one of your posts. Now we have together with, uh, I collaborate with uh, Doc Cookware. Uh, they actually yeah. like, a, yeah, so loan me some beautiful plates. Yeah, so they are the ones. So look at this. Isn't wow. that pretty? So, and then the second plate, mm -hmm. and you could also use this as a as a starter. You know, it doesn't have to be yeah. the main dish. This is a great starter, especially That's now. You know, I was hoping for mm. when I planned uh, this recipe. I thought we would have nice weather by now, so I thought you know a little bit of sunshine. Um, yeah. This is really summer food. Um, but okay. that's, uh, that's, that's from one courgette, isn't it? So it's enough for two people. Two, wow. two courgettes, two, two small oh, courgettes. Two, two small, small courgettes, courgette, yeah. And now I'm going to um, add some uh, um, small sherry tomatoes to make mm -hmm. it look pretty. And also I uh, take some pine nuts to top it off. And add some basilicum leaves. And that is I think uh, we we'll yeah. pass you again on the Instagram. Some uh, pine nuts. Uh, it's okay oh, on the this YouTube. Gone again. This is not nice. Why? Am I... Hang on. <laughs> so uh, Sorry, I'm just trying, trying to adjust this um, on the Instagram. So I if anyone's watching from uh, Facebook, yeah, YouTube, yeah, just oh, yeah, you're, you're back. So do tell us where you're watching from again. Okay. So, me? I'm back. Yes. Yep. Wow. So we've got uh, pine nuts, and I love pine nuts, you know. Yeah. So you can just add a few. And then, of course, some Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle that on top. And some more on this one. And we'll finish off with some basil leaves. Basil leaves. Okay. Yeah, look. Basilico, yeah, basil, but they're just the same basil leaves. Oh, I'm getting all confused. <laughs> <laughs> but in Dutch, it's called basil, right? It's the same. Wow. Well, that's that's that. So, beautiful. Oh, yeah. And remember, Norman, usually yeah. when we cook together, I use yeah. chives, don't I? Chives. Yes, she's a queen of don't chives. Using chives. So, <laughs> this morning, when I looked out in the garden, mm -hmm. um, all my chives have started flowering. Isn't that pretty? Oh, oh yeah, it's got these nice purple flowers. You can eat them. So what I've Maybe. done is... Right. I think uh, I people on the Instagram missed that out. So you probably want to show that again on the Instagram. You probably have to go yeah. keep it yeah. a bit lower. You see it? Uh, yes, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so these oh, so are chives. Can, yeah, you, you can, can eat, eat them. them. And you oh. know what? They just, they taste like chives. Oh, so see. see. They, they have this slight onion uh, um, uh, flavor. Nice. So so I you, can use that. you can use yes. that as a decoration, it's like garnishings. Yes. It's nice. I garnished it a little bit and it looks very um, yeah, happy, colorful, fresh. 
Great. So you want to um, to uh, tell the viewers again where they can get this uh, uh, yes. recipe? So I just uploaded the, um, the recipe. Um, hang on, I go okay, back yeah, like yeah, this. I put it up now. I can see your face now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's on my website, uh, norafrench.com or norafrench.nl. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the top uh, recipe. It's in Dutch, but uh, the ingredients are very easy to, to translate. Or yeah. Because it's such a simple recipe, essentially all the ingredients for the pesto, you yeah. will put into the fruit processor and just mix it into a nice paste. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you have to get or see that you get the courgette spiralized, but there are many good spiralizers around. So there's not a particular yeah. brand um, that I favor, but you know, there are yet lots of every good kitchen shop has them. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, um, so Nora's gonna eat that towards the end of the show. So we're both gonna uh, share. Well, not share. So oh, yeah. like, I wish you could just transport yourself <laughs> to me and get swap dishes. It's smuggling. <laughs> it's smuggling. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank so, you. There you go. So if you're watching oh, on um, on a Facebook and YouTube, so you can see the link. Uh, for the website for Nora's website okay so and again if you're watching on the Instagram you can you can mm. put Nora and America on the big oh. screen mm. uh, so and then yeah so you can for the Instagram so follow Nora on the Instagram so you can get uh, just get in touch with her okay so there's a link on her profile as well on the Instagram okay so while you're enjoying that so I'm gonna start cooking my dish yeah mm -hmm. nice it looks so delicious there okay but my okay let me just uh put the camera for face let me just uh, good so i can see your uh, oh hang on swap the camera can you see it? yeah i can see you um very well okay. So, because I want to show on Instagram, I want to show the uh, the chopping board and also the cooking. Okay. Uh, so now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice the onion to begin with. So let me see. So just remind me, Norman, what are you cooking today? Okay, I'm doing the. Um, I'm trying to say this in Dutch. It's being met <laughs> met <hanalen. laughs> So that means like a. <laughs> Uh, so vermicelli noodles with prawn. Okay, so, so this is a quick nice. stir fry actually. That uh, nice. I'm cooking. Okay, so first I have this uh, onion. Yeah. So I'm just gonna thinly slice this. I'm just gonna get all my uh, ingredients uh, prepped first, and then after that, I'm gonna uh, start cooking. Cooking is gonna be very very quick. Just put this away first. So just thinly slice onion. And, and your have... pan is heated already, I presume? I'm sorry? Your pan is already heated? Are you heating uh, your not pan? Yet, not yet. So oh, because, yes, okay. Because I want to get the all the ingredients ready first. Oh, I see, yeah. What, can you feel the heat? No, I was just thinking <laughs> that's the thing, you know. I'm just checking because <laughs> I put you next to the pan anyway. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> that would be funny, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something's burning. <laughs> yeah. Right, so now I have a uh, garlic. So it's because it's small garlic, uh, in the recipe I put like three cloves of garlic uh, garlic cloves. Okay, so, yeah. you can, so this one is small, so I put four. Yeah. Let me just, um, so I'm just gonna uh, slice just this. Slice them. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Who are you cooking for today, Norman? Do you have any guests? Like, are, are you do, are you cooking for guests or? No, it's only for two stuff? people. So uh, okay, so this one is yeah. not for two people. But I think I'm gonna people. eat it by myself. I think I'll probably yeah. give my <laughs> give to my friend next door because uh, my friend lives next door, so it's yeah. very convenient. So I have here prawn hanalen. Okay, so yeah. it took me about two weeks to get the pronunciation right. So, so, so like, <laughs> You're doing really well. <laughs> and then uh, curry powder. So this is like a mild curry powder. Yeah. Yeah. So again, you can mix this yourself. So I can show that mm -hmm. close up. Okay. So this mm -hmm. is ready made. I think it's only like a, a pound from the market, uh, supermarket here. And then the turmeric, ground turmeric. So just uh, okay. I'm gonna use about a teaspoon. Yeah. Uh, have the uh, soy sauce. Okay. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna heat up my wok first. Yeah. 
Well, this is not kind of a walk, it's a frying pan actually. I've put on a high heat, yeah? So yeah. soy sauce and then these uh, noodles that I have here, let me just... So again, these noodles been soaked in the uh, yeah. hot water, boiling water for are they, four are they, minutes. Are they rice noodles? What's uh, the base? Is, yeah, uh, vermicelli rice. rice noodles, yeah? Oh yeah, I like rice noodles, yeah. 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 So four minutes and again, let me... Uh, for this uh, vermicelli rice noodles, you don't need to put oil to kind of coat because uh, okay. it's not like uh, egg noodles. Yeah, so you don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah. So I have all ingredients ready. Oh, sorry. One more thing that I need to do. Yeah. Let me put pan away first. Let me scoop this out. Uh, there's a cabbage that actually I want to slice. So this is a white cabbage. Mm -hmm. it's give, uh, so this is about 200 gram. And nice. it gives like a nice crunch. Nice. To your, so first I'm going to remove the core. Uh -huh. So do you, when you use cabbage, do you just take a half or a quarter off and then keep the rest in the fridge or? Yeah, I do that, okay. yeah. So, because sometimes, it, well, because cabbage, sometimes it can be quite uh, hard to have it for salad. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. And I always wonder, you know, when I have a cabbage, I tend to use it all, but then I'm left with too much food and, um, yeah, but normally cabbage lasts long in your in your. Fridge, so you right? can you can just keep like half of it or quarter for some time, yeah. Yeah, because like in, in Malaysia we eat raw. We only dip it in like yeah. a. Yeah, like I like raw cabbage. Base. Yeah. Just now make... we do the same. Really like it, and it's super healthy cabbage. Yeah. So you can this slice this, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough. And then I have here a bean sprout, okay? Or yeah. Dutch call it tauge, believe it or not. Okay. Because yeah. it's Indonesian. <laughs> so yeah, so it's, it's about 150 gram. Right, yeah. so now we're ready to cook. Right, nice. Can, can you see my pan on the Instagram? I can see your pan on Instagram. Yeah, okay. very well. On both uh, on YouTube and on Insta. Yeah. So I'm going to put on a high heat. So we have vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. one, because again, this cooking is going to be really quick anyway. So. Yeah. so you just quickly cook it and then it's done. So the main uh, work is actually the chopping. Exactly. So the prep. Yeah. So I'm going to add, let me try to transfer the, let me just see what I can do this. Mm -hmm. Try to get this. Okay, I think you can see. Yeah, that's fine. So, but, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to get used with my new kitchen, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it reduced to nine? I'm trying to get nine. It's, it's gone down to mm. one. So, you want to have it really high heat, yeah? Really Just high heat. Really yeah. high heat, okay. This is why I like uh, like a proper fire. Yeah, like a gas gas yeah. stove. Yeah. Because now, like everyone wants to be nice and neat and tidy. Yeah. <laughs> so about two tablespoons of cooking oil. So and then after that, so I have an egg here as well, right? So which uh, again, I'm gonna share with you the tip how to make sure that. Uh, you don't want your noodles to be like soggy and all that because it's all about the moisture, the liquid that you yeah. want to put in. Okay. So uh, normally I just get the question: What are you guys cooking? Can you just uh, say? <laughs> no, we're just busy chatting. We don't. Cook. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we're cooking. Actually. No, no someone actually, just joined uh, and just tell them what you're cooking again. I like to wind people up. I like to tease people. <laughs> anyway, so Nora, you probably want to tell them what they cook earlier. So and then I'm going to tell them. Um, yeah, I, I, I cooked some um, um, cogetti with pesto rosso mm -hmm. and I used uh, I used cogette as a basis instead of um, spaghetti um, just to eat more vegetables really. It's a great way to get more vegetables uh, in. And uh, we made a really nice pesto um, and uh, sun-dried tomatoes, um, pine nuts, basilicum, fish. It's really nice now for whenever it's quite cold still here. When the weather gets better, a really nice for this, a really nice dish for the summer. So okay, my turn now to cook these uh, vermicelli noodles, like very easy. 
So you can see that the tank is hot. Like the sound, sizzling. So, uh, Norman, what dish are you cooking? Can you just tell us again? <laughs> okay, let's try to play. Okay, the messily noodles with prawn, okay, with the curry curry powder as a flavoring, okay? So yeah. I'm not using, uh, let me just see whether I can get this camera better, yeah. So how do you call the noodles again? You had a special word for that? Uh, sorry? The noodles. Um, what is the word for the noodles? You have a special name for the noodles? Special name for the noodles? No, you just said noodles. Yeah, just the messily noodles, sorry. Okay. The messily noodles. The rice noodles. Uh, yeah, yep, the messily rice noodles. So you just fry the onions and then you add... Onion and garlic to go yeah. in on high heat with the vegetable oil. Yeah, now are they single cool my... noodles? Yep, so now okay. ready for the hanalan. Yeah. Okay. okay. Prawns. Okay. Yummy. I can nearly smell it. Delicious. Let me just try to get this camera. Okay. So now I'm just gonna just give a bit of a flavor to the uh to the prawn. Yeah. Just about like a, a teaspoon mm -hmm. of soy sauce. Yes, soy sauce. Okay. Yeah. And just, just a bit of a uh, curry powder as well. Yeah. So you add the curry powder now. Yeah. Okay. Just just a bit, but uh, about half yeah. teaspoon because yeah. uh, we want to get the flavor to the prawn. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that the prawn is about half cooked, right? I'm gonna put it yeah. to the side now, and then crack the egg in. Oh, ah, clever. Okay. Oh, so you separate it out. Okay. So now I'm just going to scramble. Yeah, you scramble the egg on the side. Yeah. Ah. On the side, get it nice and dry, and then yeah. you kind of, and then mix it. Okay, the and then you mix it. Um... You can see that. So Ali Modok says, hi, Chef Norman. Hi from Malaysia. Hello. Hello. I saw Elaine as well. Hello, welcome Elaine. You can see that nice and dry now. Okay. Yeah, super. Ah, that's and really good. It. Oh, okay. And then you just mix it together. Yeah, mix it together. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna turn down the uh, turn off the heat first because uh, I want yeah. to show because this is very important because okay. Uh, because maybe, you maybe want maybe to get the nice flavoring, so don't rush mm -hmm. about uh, putting everything all at the same time and then start burning all the ingredients. So this is a noodle. Mm -hmm. So I've been soaked in the hot water for four minutes. I think this is enough for four people. I think I'm just being greedy. Yeah, a lot of noodles. <laughs> so um, I have here the curry powder. Yeah. So I'm just gonna. Oh, and then you add it again. Okay. Yeah. So that just uh, the, uh. the previous one just for for the hanalan uh, for the prawn only for the yeah. seasoning. Okay. Okay. Now so, do do test the curry powder. Have a bit of yeah. taste because sometimes they put like a uh, salt already. Because like this yeah. one, they have salt already, so it's a bit salty. Yeah, you don't want it to be so too salty. So I have here uh, the turmeric, which I'm gonna add a teaspoon. Okay. Well, it's interesting for me to see that you add the um, the spices at this stage. And then yeah, because, uh, it tastes more intense then, or it is indeed because uh, if you don't want to put at the beginning, because yeah. now this is like when you use a fork or if you have a tongue, right? Yeah. And then you yeah. can mix all this together. Okay. So because ah, uh, yeah, yeah, nice. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a because I like it spicy. Yeah. I'm gonna put another tablespoon. I'm definitely gonna cry after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so yummy. So you add an extra spice and then you yeah, just couple it all together. Wonderful. So just mix, make sure the curry powder kind of mix, uh, so the messily kind of uh, yeah. take yeah. all this curry powder, right? Yeah. And then, and then ready for the, so I'm start making a mess of everything. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good. Okay, so now, yeah. I'm ready for the soy sauce. Okay. 
I'm just gonna put. Oh, then you add soy sauce. Okay, so you stop cooking now. So there's no more heat. Stop cooking first. Yeah. So mm -hmm. make sure that it's all nicely mixed. Yeah. Because otherwise you're gonna start burning everything. So it's yeah. gonna take like a minute for you to kind of uh, make mm -hmm. sure it's kind of absorb this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then of course you're not gonna overcook the prawn as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah true. Yeah. Okay. So now back on the heat. Ah. Okay. Okay. So full heat again. This is like 200 gram noodles. I think it should be enough for like four people. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a lot of noodles. Yeah. <laughs> I would like some. Yeah, come over. You both have Can you shift well. them over? <laughs> <laughs> you only have to do a COVID test. That's going to cost yeah. you about 200 pounds. Yeah, I've got three COVID tests to go to the UK. Goodness me. I can't believe the hassles that I need to go through just to. I know. Yeah. Just like one hour flight, I spent yeah. about 500 pounds just to, you know, for to pay for everything. Mm. Imagine that. I have to do it because um, I've got like a sold out cookery classes. The cooking workshops next month. All right. So I have to be back here. Mm -hmm. You can see that, yeah? So it's nice now. So you yep. can put on the full heat again. Looks good. And it's on full heat. So you just yep. bend it up again. Right. I'm going to have a bit of taste and see whether <laughs> it's okay. Mmm. Like that? <laughs> Is that like that? Like that. Here It's not, well, I can, it's, it's a bit spicy afterwards. Too sharp, yeah? Too spicy? Yeah. No, it's not, it's not really, really, really spicy. Yeah. So now, I'm going to just put a splash of water. Yeah. Okay. okay. Just to make it slightly moist. Mm-hmm. That's why uh, when you soak the noodles like for four minutes, yeah. you don't want to kind of overcook the noodles because you're going to be cooking this again. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Without making a mess. So, uh, Kat Henning, Lama, this chef, someone says they will definitely try this dish later on. Thanks, chef. You can always come to London to try this with me. <laughs> this is enough for everyone, I think. Okay, good. And now ready for the vegetables. Okay, so now you add the cabbage. Yeah, cabbage is going in. Because I want to keep the crunch. Just cook the cabbage for like yeah. uh, one minute first. And then the bean sprout can go in after. Okay? Okay. Because uh, cabbage takes slightly longer to kind of cook. Yeah. But you don't want to overcook it, so you want to keep the crunch. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the mess I make. Sorry. <laughs> I actually don't see that. No, you don't see that, no. Oh, you don't see that? Okay. No, no, no. Not mess. Mass. Who's talking I about that mess? <laughs> There's no such mess. No, that's fine. I you need know. your kitchen angel. I need to borrow your kitchen angel. <laughs> Monica, Are you the kitchen angel? Beam yourself <laughs> this, to London, please. flying over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So after a minute, and then you can put the bean sprout now. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, there we go. You can make like a, you can put some like a spinach, for example, to make yeah. it nice and green. Yeah, yeah. So you can do that. But again, I'm so trying to the, the key it. Norman is really you cook in stages, so you really have to have the timing right. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So it's not like throwing in everything into one pan. No, you have to first freeze the net, but you're using one pan only, so that's also good. It is, yeah. It's simple. But I still you need your kitchen angel to tidy up the mess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So again, once you put the bean sprout in, you don't have to cook it for long, right? Yeah, so yeah. after 30 seconds, and that's it. So because the heat is still going to be cooking the uh, the tauge, the bean sprout, okay? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. 
and I have a, a bit of a taste of the noodles. If it's still a bit kind of a, mm. it's not going to soft. So that, that's it. You don't need to add any more water. And that's it. So I'm going to turn off the heat. Super. And I'm going to serve this. It's a big portion. <laughs> <laughs> so I think my recipe. I need to change it to like uh, for all people. I think. <laughs> It looks like a area from here. It is, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Nice. Okay. Let yeah, I think it's definitely it. more than two people. <laughs> this surface. Right. Very pretty. So, I love the color. It looks really nice. I'm gonna tidy up after this. Let me just uh, try to. Yeah, I think this is definitely enough for four people. <laughs> and I'm gonna put the prawns on top. Let me just. Nice. You see, this this one works better if you have a thong. So you can just coop out all these yeah. Yeah. noodles. Yeah. 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 Okay. I can see. So let me just get some prawns and then put it on top. So Dina Arif says, yummy, bihon goreng. Bihon goreng, that's it, yeah. So very nice and simple bihon goreng. Yeah. So some vegetables. This is the beauty about like putting the uh, vegetables right to the end because yeah. uh, all the crunch nice. that you get. Yeah. Okay. Fresh so the, the prawns. Okay, so I think it's enough prawns. Let me just... This. Yeah. Is that enough for you, Nora? That is beautiful. Okay, you ship it over now, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now I'm gonna garnish with um this is the uh beans, uh, sorry, uh spring onion and also yeah. some uh, coriander as well. Yeah, nice. So just to show. Yeah. So another ingredient you want to do is uh fried shallots, the uh, bao Nice. Yeah, so that's yeah. something that you can do as well. Oh, more pastry says hi, chefs. Greeting from the Netherlands. Your friends from more pastry. Oh, bro. oh yeah. Is it Kieran or Vino? Yeah, well, we have to ask more pastry. <laughs> more pastry, yeah. So that must be Kieran, I think. Kieran. Kieran, Kieran or Vino? Yeah. So let me just serve and then. Okay, this is the uh, chili. Oh, this is my favorite. I always like put this in a salad or something. So, uh, you really like uh, hot, sir? <laughs> I do. Well, this one actually not spicy, spicy hot. It's spicy, but... yeah. So, oh, it's both. More pastry says it's both. So oh, your old friends, old friends from uh, More Pastry are watching. Good, 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 good. So now, can you see on the, uh, hang on the Instagram? Yeah, I yeah. can see. I can see on both. So now, I'm going to sprinkle some chili oil. <laughs> Trust me, this one is not spicy. I can take half a bowl. bowl, bowl. <laughs> it looks spicy, but it's not. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Chef Cyril uh, Rouquet Prevers says, Great job, Norman. Oh, Cyril, Cyril's watching from Paris, from France. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well done. Cyril, if you want to cook with me next week, you're welcome because I'm still looking for, uh, for a chef to cook with me next week. So if you're free Thursday next week, you can do that. Okay. Well, that's an invite. Wow. Looks great, Norman. So there you go. Oh, now we can, we can, we can, we can eat together. Yeah. <laughs> Give yourself, please, over here. Mine looks, uh, yeah. Good. Okay. So let me just uh, flip the camera again so you can yeah. see my face. That's it. Uh, my God, look at the mess. <laughs> <laughs> that Again, who's talking about the mess? <laughs> so, <laughs> so how are you doing with the time? Oh, very quick. You're very good. Yeah. So let me just uh, just tell you a bit. So here you go. Looks delicious. Have you finished your spaghetti yet? Hmm? Have you finished your spaghetti yet? No, I haven't finished them yet, but I, okay, um, right. so I was waiting for you. Let's eat. 
So give me like 30 seconds. Let me just I can't up now. Sorry. <laughs> Let me just That's very efficient. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now we can eat this. Yum yum. I'm supposed to be going up to Soho after these to eat with my friends, but I'm going to cancel it. You going to Soho? Look, we just came into my kitchen. You can smell it. Who? Oh, who's that? That's a cat. Hello, cat. This is Rufus. Hello, Rufus. <laughs> Rufus, Wait, you can't eat these noodles too spicy. Sorry, I've got my white socks because I, came, I went up for a run earlier. <laughs> Rufus. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Oh, yes, later. <laughs> Rupert, okay. say hello to everyone. Meow. Meow. <laughs> yeah, that's how I have to say hello. Rupert, um, Rupert belongs to my friend uh, next door. Okay. Uh, Eric. So it's like when I was a meeting last week, no, a few days ago, and then he was happened to be in the background, just about to jump off the window. So I have to grab him. <laughs> it's Mark Luke. Enjoy. It's Mark Luke. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. We were both eating pasta, but very different versions. Good. <laughs> so what will what's what's your plan? You said you go to Soho? Yes. This is a nice weather. But again, I'm not planning to stay out late or late on. Long because I'm um, again with this all this COVID thing because I, I have actually another meeting this afternoon, mm -hmm. but um, try to keep it like very brief and then just meet up with my friend mm -hmm. because uh, since uh, since I came back here, that's why I keep it quiet uh, after I came back to London because I'm not saying that I'm very popular, but I have friends that you know, yeah, I promise to meet <laughs> everyone up. wants to see you, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's why I was trying to limit the. the the fans, the fans have to stay away. <laughs> so, okay. Um, if you want the recipe, so you have to join my newsletter. I still, I still owe about like two or three more recipes from the previous cooking show. So uh, you can go to my website, nomamusa.com, and then there's a button for you to click to join uh, to the uh, to join my newsletter. So you can see that uh, Sandy just upload the uh, uh, the website. Okay, so nomamusa.com. Well, you will get the, the my newsletter so hopefully it will come this weekend no actually this weekend i can't because i'm going away so <laughs> so it's gonna be next week okay so you get the simple recipe mm -hmm. and Nora, maybe you want to remind the viewers again where they can get your yeah. recipe uh, the recipe is in my cookbook gezond fast food healthy fast food yeah. um, in dutch uh, and it's also on my website uh, on norafrench.com or norafrench.nl um, great it's on top and it's very simple and very delicious. So you can see that uh, if you're watching from YouTube and uh, Facebook, so you can see that uh, the link, okay? No yeah, delicious. that's it, correct, top. The, the, I mean, the name, the, the website name is very catchy. No <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's a good one. That's my name. <laughs> Delicious, Nora. <Nora-licious. laughs> so again, um, yeah. Th thank you very much for watching. And then um, let's bring uh, Nora. Would you come back uh, in July? Yeah. Of course. Of so course. So we, we alternate because next month we're gonna have like the male Glen squad. Okay. Right. So, <laughs> so we have our uh, chef Brian. Um, yeah. I'm still need to confirm about next week on Thursday. Hopefully, uh, Chef Cyril, if you're watching, if you want to cook along with me, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, give a shout. Uh, so next week, because we're gonna try to change the time now to so two p.m. Uh, for Europe and then one p.m. for uh, London for UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Nora, thank you very much for joining me this week. Thank okay. you, Norman, for having me. Uh, it was yeah. fun again to cook with you. Yeah. So, so is, there, is there anything that you want to tell the viewers before we go? That um, that cooking at home is fun and joyful. And that people should do home cooking. And uh, I'm really much looking forward to the July cooking session with you. And maybe the weather will be more supportive, and uh, we can make some some fun. Maybe even some. Oh, I have ideas already. I, I can't okay, tell you good. now, but I'll use the blender. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So we're gonna see some another another exciting and healthy dish from Nora. Okay, so yes. I'm gonna say we're we're gonna say goodbye now. Thank you very much for watching. And again, if you missed out uh, from the beginning, you can watch, uh, go to the YouTube channel. Uh, 
Chef Noah Musa, so you can watch from the beginning. Okay, so thank you very much. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you, Norman. See you okay, soon. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.